Hello all, and welcome to week 71 of Xur. Destiny might be a little slow, but uh, Xur apparently heard that because he is packing some heat this week for PvE players. He's in the reef, but people have been having problems with the door not being open, so Bungie might move him. If the door is not open and Bungie has not moved him yet, try reloading the reef or re-logging. Starting from the bottom, we have Plasma Drive and Stealth Drive for those rare blue quality sparrows. Three heavy ammo packs, one strange coin, five three of coins, seven strange coins, three glass needles, bunch of stuff. One mode of light, two strange coins. Titans! You're getting Ruin Wings. The bonuses are, who cares? These are the best PvE gloves in the game right now for Titans, in my opinion. And you're getting them with Intellect and Discipline. More heavy ammo drops, and more heavy ammo comes in those drops. That is a great bonus for every aspect of PvE, whether you're mowing stuff down with a sword and a heroic strike, or you're shooting down Golgoroth orbs in the raid. With Helm of Saint-14 not being as needed in most content, at least compared to year one, you can very easily afford to use these, and I think they're one of the most fun exotics you can use because, well, using heavy ammo is inherently fun. So, yeah, get them. Hunters. You're getting Celestial Nighthawk. The main bonus turns your golden gun into a mega shot, granting six times the power of a normal shot, but you only get one, so use it wisely. And you also get Keyhole. We have side bonuses of bonus super energy on grenade kills, bonus super energy on special weapon kills, and invigoration. This is not a PvP exotic, shockingly enough. Don't use it for PvP. For PvE, if you happen to be a gunslinger, then I think this is probably the best option, if not among the best options. Being able to just immediately kill something completely dead can come in handy in the raid, although in heroic strikes, maybe not as much. It does what I think Golden Gun should be doing in the first place, which is actually killing something. You activate it, you shoot something, it is going to die. That's great. Warlocks. You are getting the Impossible Machines, which gets you the Landfall bonus. We have side bonuses of increased melee attack speed, very good. Bonus grenade energy on melee hits, that's okay. And auto rifle and fusion rifle reload speed, those are not stellar. The Landfall bonus is very good, but so are the other two bonuses in the Storm Trans column, making this a very powerful exotic and pretty much the only exotic for Storm Callers. It gives your PvE damage a head start, and when combined with Superconductor, is very strong ad removal, and in PvP gives you a mini Fist of Havoc, although the radius isn't as big as you might think. An exotic that every single Storm Caller should have, these are definitely worth buying. The exotic Helm Engram is the Engram of the week. It's been a while since we've had an Engram. At least feels like it's been a while. Some good Helms to look out for are Graviton Forfeit, the Ram, and well, I mean those are those are some good ones. They're they're pretty good, I guess. Light Beyond Nemesis too. I guess Helm of Saint fourteen if you're if you're into that, but uh, not not a lot, not a lot. Don't don't go too crazy. The Legacy Engram is an exotic primary that's year one weapons at year one power levels. This does not include the Vex Mythoclast, nor does it include Necrochasm. You cannot get those weapons from the Engram. You gotta go back to the old raids and pick them up there. If you unlock something that is in year two, it will unlock in your blueprints. That's gonna wrap up Zer for week 71. I've uploaded a few bits of non-Destiny stuff over the week. I know things have been slow with Destiny, so give those other videos a shot, especially the, the Trouble in Terrorist Town video. I thought that turned out pretty well, and the one coming next Tuesday, I think, is turned out pretty, pretty darn well. My usual text update is in the description. I talk a little bit more there. The Division beta is starting on the 28th for Xbox and on the 29th for PlayStation and PC, so I'll probably be streaming that most of the weekend, and I'll be trying to make some content for The Division over the following week or two after the beta, so be on the lookout for that as well. Enough on me. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next time.